Next tonight, the botched wall insulation, which is estimated to affect up to two million homes across the UK. The work was supposed to make properties more energy efficient and reduce bills, but in many cases it's left homes suffering from damp and mould and costly to heat. Our Wales reporter Rhys Williams heard from the victims of one faulty scheme in Bridgend. Uh, damp is actually coming through this wall. Look. This has been Rhiannon and her family's life for a decade. The skirting boards are rotting. The damp is just travelling up the wall, um, up towards the ceiling. Cairai in the Llinvi Valley near Bridgend is one of Wales' most deprived communities. Ten years ago, public money was used to make more than 100 homes here more energy efficient through externally applied insulation. This new wonderful scheme um, it's going to change your life, it's going to, you know, reduce your bills. In reality, the botched scheme ruined her home. This type of insulation is applied to the outside of a property with render on top. It can lead to big energy savings, but when it's not done right, it can cause serious damp problems. The work was awarded by the Labour-led Bridgend Council to a company owned by one of its cabinet members. That company no longer exists and the cabinet member has since died. An audit later found significant concerns with the scheme. The result is that a well-meaning attempt to cut energy bills has devastated this community. There's electrics on this wall that keep on blowing because of the amount of damp that's on that wall and complete, always renewing the fuse in this one. It's getting to the point where you can't afford to put heating on and, you know, we need heat here to kind of combat the damp. And Trianon's not the only one, not just in Cairai, but across the UK, with estimates that up to two million homes may have problems as a result of deficiently installed insulation. Another whose house was ruined ten years ago was Julie, who lives just around the corner. I don't think anybody would like to live in, sleep in a bedroom like that. She says she's since developed breathing problems. <laughs> it's hard work, it's hard work. It's clearly taking a, a mental toll on you. Well, I can't go no more. Hmm. It's not fair. I people have to put up there. Yeah. None of the residents we spoke with have ever received an apology for what happened. They say they've just been ignored for 10 years. Millions of pounds of funding have now finally been approved by the Welsh Government and Bridgend Council to put things right, but say it will take at least a year to finally clean up this mess, so victims face yet another freezing and wet winter of misery. Rhys Williams, ITV News, Cairai.